Hello everybody, Loki Magics, another day, another video. But today's video, we're gonna face the Magnum Dragon, and we're still gonna be using only epics and rares. We're, we're just gonna see how far we can push up hard mode just using this method, right? Well, these type of champions. But right now, we're fighting these squishy Dracos. I wish, you know, the one thing I wish they would've did in Doom Tower is at least reskin some of these um, enemies, I guess, because it feels weird, right? You're in the Doom Tower and you're fighting Juliana and Dracos, I thought they're supposed to be like the good champions. I don't know why we're fighting them. So a rescan would have been nice. But anyways, we made it to the Magnet Dragon. And we're kind of still using the old techniques of spiders, right? We just come in here and blast this dude down. I mean, I could have probably picked some other champions to make this faster. But, you know, I just wanted to have a little bit of survivability, a little bit of res. Because Cold Hearts still do a lot of damage. Can't reduce that turn meter anymore, but it's cool, right? I don't know if this makes the boss a lot harder. I mean, it's definitely not easier, but we'll see though when we get to the higher floors how this will all play out. But boom, you can see 58 seconds using epics and rares. Not too bad, right? Not too bad at all. And now let's go check out the secret room number two. Here we go. Dark Elven faction only secret room number two. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Because we got some good champions, man. We got, you know, Man of Cerise, Kaiden. Kaiden is so good, right? Just got to figure out this aura. Got a little faction crypts. I wonder if they'll do, like, Doom Tower only auras, too. But this one's good. HP in all battles. I wonder I wonder if they'll start re releasing those. And if they do, they should make them really good, right? Like, give us something really good. But these guys are a little bit beefy. The only risk here, I guess, is that you got Foley and Xavier, which are, what are they, like, uh, block revive champions. So getting killed by one of their skills like that would be pretty much game over. But it looks like we are doing okay for auto. Alright. And I, I seriously like Painkeeper, man. Like, she is my favorite champion in this game. When it comes to rares, for sure. Like, she just has so much going on. Combat tactics, just... Helping you reduce those cooldowns. She could heal. You could throw stun sets, toxic sets, whatever. You know, she just has so much utility to her, man. One of the OG badass rare champions. Totally love her. And then Kaiden too, man. I hope I hope a lot of you guys out there got Kaiden when you can or pulled him recently. Because this dude is going to be a key champion for Doom Tower. But we made it to round two. Oh, we got some Madame Cerise and Lanikis there. Oh, man. And I, I really... I, I, I know it sounds like I'm complaining a little bit about Dune Tower, but I really wish they would have just, like, reskinned some of these enemies we're fighting because, like, it, it doesn't make sense, right? Because they advertise Dune Tower as it's supposed to be. You're fighting, I guess, the, the monsters or whatever that Arbiter could not handle herself, right? So it's kind of weird going up against some of our favorite champions in the game. You know, like, I, I I don't know what the story or what would cause them to face each other off in Doom Tower. Maybe maybe they're all seeking glory, so they're like, no, you know, the boss is mine, so that's why they're fighting. I don't know. But I think it would have been, like, way cooler if they just, like, reskinned them a little bit and gave them, I don't know, like, they're possessed or something, right? Anything would have made it like okay doom tower is like complete like the whole experience would have been just a little bit better but you know if i sound like i'm complaining my bad just throwing out my two cents out there of doom tower and that's it i'm sure you guys have some qualms too right or maybe you guys are all loving doom tower and if you are hey nothing wrong with that too but yeah third round auto nothing too challenging yet from doom tower for for me I should clarify that, right? Because I'm sure there's people out there that is struggling right now. But yeah, you know, as long as uh, you got a, some decreased attack, a reviver, some damage output, you should be good to go. There's no star requirement. Thank God, right? Like that star requirement in Faction Wars, that was painful. That's what made it super hard. We will see what makes Doom Tower super hard. So far, it's too early to tell though. And Vizier, just, you know, holding his ground. He's really not a threat, I don't think, at all, when it comes to this type of format. 
And we have collected another fragment, which we will see this champion in a very long time from now. So I don't know, the, it, it, this three fragment per secret room, is that fun? Is that fair? I don't know, you guys tell me. But this is it for this video. If there's any other type of thing you want me to showcase in Doom Tower, please let me know and I'll definitely do that for you. But with that being said, hey, you guys take care and definitely catch you on the next video.